I always say it's not over until God says it's over. Ah, if it's over, it's over. I'm telling you, guy. Every time it's not over. Ah, king. Hello, and welcome back to yet another TikTok train segment with me, Yolo. Guys, I think before we get into it, we all need to apologize to DJ Imelzi's side chick, Ulala, guys. So basically, um, coming for her after she revealed that Umelzi is the one that told her uh, that he actually never proposed to Anderson, that there were no uh, Lobola negotiations that ever took place. Because during the venting podcast interview with Ukokos Koteni that Umelzi had, he basically confirmed exactly what Ulala has been saying this entire time and Tina Besim Tuga there by TikTok. So DJ Malzi basically confirmed exactly that Guys, those were rumors and um, these are news that fans came up with and made it a thing. Malzi further shared that the Lobola um, uh, or rather the Lala girl did fabricate everything she shared with us on her TikTok account. As a result, he ended up sending lawyers her way. Uh, he further agreed that, um, yes, I did. I did. As you saw from that particular video clip, I shared a bed with her, but um, he said that I never touched her. We never had any sexual intercourse. And I was just sitting there like, when Nana. <laughs> <laughs> Pella, guys, come on. Um, Ulala is not the only side chick that has come out there by TikTok. There's so many other girls who have basically come forward to share that. Listen up, Omina, not DJ Malzi. We are having a thing, and DJ Malzi is telling me that Abeko together no Andi Swa. So it just turns out Uguti, this is his things. He, he goes to these girls, lies to them about everything. And unfortunately, this behavior that he portrayed there, Goko Koskoteni, I think it really made Andy so angry to see that. And like, how dare you do that to me in front of Pamgwa Bantu? Like Unklambalaza in front of the entire nation. How dumb do you think I am? So she has been posting on her Instagram and on TikTok she posted uh, a TikTok sound whereby Kim Kardashian was responding to an interviewer. Uh, the, basically, the dialogue went something like Kim was saying, I don't even know where we left off. And then the interviewer says, you were still in a relationship. Then Kim responds and says, I was with a really confused and, um, you know, irritated face. So this shows that she's, she's also confused. Guti. People are saying she is in a relationship with Umalzi. Like she is so confused at this point and basically saying, like, we can all read between the lines. Guti. She's really tired. Now, the interviewer responds and says, <laughs> yes. And then Kim goes, damn you know with the disappointed face once again now let me tell you something she also posted this tweet from a very long time ago and it reads as follows when you finally realize there is no turning back so we are born and fed up shame is fed up belt now, obviously, fans are also really angered by Malzi and, you know, his revelations. Uguti, no, we didn't do it. I'm still in love with uh, 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 Andy Swa and we're still together. They even coming for, they gunning for his English accent, saying that Aibo, Aibo, lo, lo munto he can't even, he, he's unable to express himself in English. No wonder <laughs> that interview literally lasted for five seconds long because he cannot even hold down a proper conversation the english and we all know here in south africa guys if you don't know english if you cannot really express yourself in english some people measure that if like if you cannot speak english properly so some people are coming at him from that angle you go to when so one fan basically came forward and asked Andy's and said, So are you all still together, Vele? And she responded to that comment and said, No. What the F? So it just shows go to Katele Aban. Some people were saying, I lo lo DJ Malze Wakona is speaking e Japanese. <laughs> and they were basically angry with he. That interview was literally the most boring interview Ukoko Skoteni has ever had because we got nothing from it. We learned nothing from it. We 
like in daba keti no no daba asfuma nanga twa and abantu abafunu kufundi zint or naba bafunaga anything ya understand so i'm just hoping that ugogo is gonna call forth uandi iswa so that naye akonu kulumela isa dilake so what are your thoughts you guys let's just engage down on the comments like the video and also subscribe if you have not yet done so and gizonibona on my next one bye guys